Hi there, it's Pastor Will from the Rio Texas Media Center and PastorWill.net. Today I'm going to show you how to create text links on your Squarespace website. Uh, links are really the backbone of the World Wide Web, and you can connect people through clickable links to other content on your website, to other websites, and also to uh, downloadable content on your page. Here I am, my Squarespace toolbar. I'm going to go to the Pages Manager, and we're going to add some links on the Beliefs page of our sample website. And the sample website has a, a statement of faith under the What We Believe page, and uh, I want to link people here to an online version of the Bible. I'm going to click edit and get into editing mode here. And now I'm simply going to highlight the words, the Bible. That's where I'm going to want people to click. I'm going to go up here to my toolbar. I'm going to click on this chain link looking thing where it says uh, edit link. And here we go. Now here are my choices. I can link to an external link, link to files, or link to content. And right now we're going to start with an external link uh, because I want them to be able to go to a, another website to get the Bible. And what I'm choosing up here is uh, this Bible browser, which uh, has the new revised standard version of the Bible. There's other places like Bible Gateway that you can link to as well. This is just what I'm choosing. And uh, I am copying... Uh, this actual link right here, actual link right now. I'm going back here and I am just going to paste that uh, right in there. There it is. And now I have a choice here. Do I want that to just open in the same window of my user's browser or would I like it to open another window or tab? Uh, since they're going to be leaving my website, I, I like them to know that they're leaving. And one way to do that is to open up a new window or tab. All right. And then I just click somewhere else and there it is. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit save. Uh, this arrow key in Squarespace allows you to view the page uh, as you would, your users would see it. And here it is. I can see that when I scroll over it, it goes to the scroll over color, and then I'm going to click it. And there I am. It worked. It got me to the Bible browser. All right, well, let's do another one while we're here. That's going to bring me back to this. And so I want to now link to somewhere else on my own website. So again, I'm going to open up editing mode. And now I'm going to scroll down here where I have a section on worship, right? So I also have a worship page on this website. So I'm going to link to that. Again, I'm going to highlight worship. I'm going to go up here to link. And this time I'm going to click content. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find my worship page and I'm just going to click on that and that one is done as well. Let's take a look at that. Somebody's here and they want to know more about worship. There they go. It's going to lead them right to worship. All right. One more. We're going to go back to that uh, beliefs page and we're going to now we're going to add a, a text document. Uh, this way you can upload forms, uh, any, anything, flyers, anything you have that you want people to be able to see in a PDF or Word document format, you can uh, do that from here. Now, I don't have a particular place that is suitable for an actual link to a document, but we're just going to make something up. Say that I've got a document related to this strategy here. I'm going to go again, go to edit. I'm going to scroll down and uh, say I want this to be... A, well, let's just add, uh, click here to download the printable PDF version. That might be something you want to do. Okay, again, I've typed that in. Now I am going to highlight it. And again, I'm going to click on this link button. Now I want to choose files. Now I can go to existing files if I happen to have any up there on Squarespace. This is a, a sample site, so it doesn't have one yet. So I'm going to go to new file. And the nice thing is here, I am then just going to uh, go over here to my, my file manager and I'm going to find this document. It's actually a document of the, uh, the conference room audio visual uh, resources here at the annual conference, but it's in PDF, so it'll work. I'm going to drag it over there and it's going to upload that file. All right, and there it is. And now I can just click anywhere else I want to. I'm gonna save this, 
Again, I'm going to open up and you see what happens. Now, when people click this, uh, what's going to happen is going to depend a little bit on the browser version that they're using. But you can see when I click it here, uh, it is going to just sort of open it up in uh, another browser window, a PDF viewer, and uh, I can download it or print it. But that's really going to depend on their browser and their computer setup. But it's going to allow them to see and download and uh, print and do whatever they want with that PDF document. It can be the same for a Word document as well. That's it. That's uh, the three ways that you can uh, share links with text on your website. In another video, we'll talk about how we can make sure those links can also work on images, both standalone images and images in the gallery. Uh, check out my YouTube channel and also riotexas.org for more information about Squarespace websites for churches and all other sorts of tech stuff that can help your church reach the mission field.